All right, guys, once again, it is Saturday night. Last week, I gave you three movies to choose from, and you guys chose Cars. Cars Part 1. This is my favorite one out of the entire Cars series. I think there's two, three. I don't think there's four Cars movies. I think there's only three. But number one is by far my favorite. So that is what we are watching this week. Guys, I love this little home theater slash video rental store that I've put together. And I absolutely love that every week you join me in making an awesome snack, watching an awesome movie, and then picking out whatever movies we're going to watch the next week. I'm always buying more movies, and you're going to see some more changes in here next week. This week, I did a little bit more. I took down every single movie that I have on the shelves, and I added something that makes it look even more like a video rental store. For Christmas, Marion got me these clear DVD cases that are the size of a regular DVD case. Now, when you used to go in to rent videos, they never had the video in the actual box on the shelf. They either had little round tags that hung in front, and when you were ready to rent that movie, you took off the tag, took it up to the desk, and that's how they knew what movie you wanted. But other stores like Blockbuster and Hollywood Video and Movie Gallery had a regular size DVD case behind each movie and they actually had the videos in those. If you found the movie you wanted on the shelf and it didn't have one of these behind it, your movie was out of stock. I wanted these so that I could recreate that down here in my basement. Now I'm not putting any DVDs in here, but I did create an insert to put in the front so that when the Blu-ray is set in front of it, you see the top sticking out that says something like three day rental, five day rental, two day rental, and on the shelf it makes it look like you are in a legit video rental store. And I changed them up so they wouldn't all say the same thing. We've got three day rental, five day rental. We've got the little Blu-ray disc logo right there. On Disney Blu-rays, we have the Disney logo. And on movies that are in 4K, we even have the 4K logo. So as you can see, I'm always working to improve the presentation down here. Last week, I bought a bunch more frames. So next week, you're gonna see on this wall over here where we have the giant Titanic poster, that's gonna be replaced with about three or four four more smaller movie posters. What those will be, you'll just have to come back next week to see. But as for tonight, yes, we are watching Disney Cars Part 1, my favorite of the series, and we have a handful of awesome snacks we're going to be making. And I gotta say, this was a tough one. I thought it would be easy. I thought it would be really easy to come up with awesome snacks to have for this movie, but it was kind of difficult. So join me as we go shopping, make snacks, pick out movies for next week, and watch Cars. But first, who's ready to ka -chow? Okay, so right here we got three places I want to check out to see if we can find some awesome stuff to decorate for Cars Movie Night. First, we have Five Below right there. <laughs> then we have a Dollar Tree right there. And then we have Walmart down there. Let's check out the Five Below first. Sometimes they have some pretty cool stuff in here. Holy crap, this is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. Even though we're not having a Jurassic Park or E.T. Movie Night right now, look, they have Jurassic Park shirts and t-shirts how cool is that oh my gosh they also have mermaid man and barnacle boy look at this this doesn't have anything to do with our movie night but jumbo wooden word cross it's letters like you'd find in scrabble and i actually was gonna make some of these for something else for a decoration in our library i'm not seeing cars the movie but i am seeing toy cars here whoa hold on what in the holy crap <laughs> hummer h2 it looks exactly like mine okay i cannot resist guys the squawking chicken <laughs> what in the world the horror 
coloring book. Look at this, guys. I cannot believe I just found this. How cool is this? All horror scenes for you to color. Very strange. I thought we would find something cars in here. I'm not even seeing any cars themed candy or snacks or anything. What in the world is this? Herbert's Best Gummy Eyes. They're eyeballs. What the heck? There's a yellow one. Here's a green one. That is so creepy. Well, surprisingly, they didn't have anything in the five below that had anything to do with cars or anything that I really saw that you could use to make, I don't know, a cars related anything really. I did get a couple of other things, but let's go ahead in the Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, how funny are these? Look at this, these little squishy things. We have Captain America and there's a Tweety Bird. Um, what else? There's Bugs Bunny. I don't see any Cars stuff. Was that Iron Man? The Hulk? <laughs> These are too funny. Okay, so it's not a decoration, but I immediately found this. So, good job, Dollar Tree, for having something Cars here. In fact, you could actually use this if you were going to have a Cars movie night party and you wanted to make invitations, you could just cut out the car on there and write the invitation on the back. And look at this, I was hoping to find some Cars toys and I did find a whole bunch of cool stuff here. Um, Toy Story toys, look at this. There's Woody and Buzz and we got the Dino here, Rex. That's pretty cool, we got Monsters Inc. Ooh, and Finding Nemo. But I don't see anything cars. Really surprised I'm not finding anything else that's cars. I mean, look at this. We have some Disney things in Kanto. Kanto, I don't know how you say that. Frozen. We even have Star Wars here. All kinds of these little washcloths that you put in water and they expand. But no cars. I really thought this would be an easy one, finding candy that you could use, um, or some kind of snacks for the movie. But look, I'm not even finding, like, gummy cars. But we have everything else. Gummy sharks. What did I see over here? We got gummy bears. Gummy clouds. What the heck? Gummy frogs. Gummy fruit salad. <laughs> we even have gummy shoes. And worms and snakes and spaghetti, but no gummy cars. They do have Scooby snacks though, if you are gonna watch Scooby. Here's Oreos I was talking about last week, buck 25 for that bag. They're like almost three bucks at Walmart. Okay, here's Oops All Berries. It's nothing but the berries that come in Cap and Crunch. You could use this and mix it with other stuff and make Kachow Crunch. Okay, these are cool too. Fruit Loops cereal straws. Look how yummy those look. Okay, I don't even care. We're gonna figure out a way to use these because they're way too cool to leave behind. Okay, well, surprisingly, there wasn't much in there either. But after I walk around for about an hour and try to be very creative, I got a couple things I could work with. So let's dunk these in the Hummer and head over to Walmart. It's starting to rain out here. And I don't want to get soaked. All right, let's make our way through Walmart here and get what we need for our snacks and then get back home. Okay, we're gonna need some of this, one of these, a box of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these, one of these, one of these, and a bag of these. All right, we're done shopping, let's roll out. All right, guys, we are back home, and as you saw, we got a handful of things. I think I have a few things I didn't even show you, or maybe I did. I don't remember. <laughs> we are going to get started here, and the first thing we are going to make is something that I call Mater Tot Casserole. Now, you may know this already as Shepherd's Pie, but Shepherd's Pie basically uses mashed potatoes on top, where we are going to use tater tots so that we can call it Mater Tot Casserole. Yeah, I'd give a lift to lug nuts, something like that. It's gonna be delicious, believe me. Okay, so let me tell you about everything that's gonna go in this first. We got some ground beef. Now, I got ground beef chuck. You can get whatever kind you want. I got 2.25 pounds. We're only gonna use about half of this. We got some sweet peas, and I don't really love peas, but they taste pretty good in this. Any of these vegetables that I say you do not have to use, you can use your own mix of vegetables. You can even get the cans of mixed vegetables if you want. Just make sure did you get about four of them? So again, we have sweet peas, we have sliced carrots, 
We have cut green beans, and we have some whole kernel corn. We also have a can of cream of mushroom soup, and a jar of classic chicken gravy. Now, if you like a different kind of gravy better, you can definitely use that. I just think it tastes best with this chicken gravy. We also have some shredded Colby Jack cheese, some salt and pepper, and of course, golden tater tots. It doesn't have to be Orida, that's just what they had in that aisle. Okay, so to get started, we need to brown this hamburger, but we're gonna do that in a minute. The first thing we're gonna do is get our vegetables going. So I have a skillet here for the hamburger, and I have a nice big pot for our vegetables. I'm gonna go ahead and open all of these before I even pour any of them in. And you don't need to drain these because you want them to cook in the juice. We will be draining them once they get done cooking though. Okay, we have all our vegetables open. Do not get into the cream of mushroom or the gravy just yet. We're gonna pour all our vegetables into this one pot and mix them all together. That's quite a pot of veggies right there. Make sure you clean up after yourself or you can save these cans and make a phone. Hello? Hello? All right, we're just gonna put that on a medium heat, stir it up, mix all the vegetables together. Put the lid on there and let those heat up while we get to our hamburger here. Now, like I said, we're gonna use about half of this. Just start crumbling and cooking your burger. A little salt and pepper in there. Now while that's cooking, you can get your gravy ready and your cream of mushroom. Because as soon as that stuff's done cooking, you're gonna be mixing it all in with this. Also while that stuff's cooking, you wanna get your tater tots ready. These are frozen, so we're gonna cook them first. Now you don't have to make the whole bag, you just wanna have enough that can fit over top all this in this pan. I am making the whole bag because I'm going to munch some alone. <laughs> Preheat your oven to 450 and stick them in there for about 20 minutes. Now they're going to go back in the oven once we get them on top of casserole. And that's about how much time it'll take for us to finish getting prepared to put everything in the casserole dish. So once the hamburger's done, you want to drain that and then we're going to mix our cream of mushroom and our gravy both right in with the hamburger. Drop it down to a low heat and then mix all that in. Okay, now that the vegetables have cooked long enough, we're gonna drain them. Bring it back over here and then we're gonna mix them in with the hamburger mixture. Oh yeah, get that mixed up in there really good. Oh, this is looking so tasty. Okay, now that this is heated up and all mixed together, we're gonna pour it all in here. Yeah. Okay, flatten that out. Our tater tots are ready, so we're gonna take those out. Leave your oven on because this is all gonna go right back in there. But first, we're gonna sprinkle some cheese on top of this. Not all of it though. Then we're gonna put our tots on top of that. Okay, get those evened out. And then we're gonna put the rest of the cheese on top of that. Okay. All right, that is what I'm talking about. And this is gonna go in the oven for about 10 minutes. Basically just long enough for the cheese to melt because everything else in there is already hot. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Yep, there we go, the cheese is all melted. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Holy crap. Look how delicious that looks right there. Tater tots, cheese, mixed vegetables, Hamburger, ah, oh, Mater, you done us right. Mm. Okay guys, so there is your dinner. Now, while this is cooling down, 
we got a couple more things to make for our snacks. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is Luigi's Tires. And it's as simple as this. Chocolate donuts. <laughs> now, you can customize this any way you want. If you wanna like print out little things from the computer and have it say Luigi's Tires, glue it on like some cardboard and set it up so you have a background that says Luigi's Tires. Then you can just take your donuts and stack them up like tires. Mmm, most delicious tire I've ever had. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that actually is delicious. So there's our delicious tires. Now the next thing is just an idea that I had when I found these Oops All Berries cereal at the Dollar Tree. And that idea is called, what the heck is it called? And that idea is called Kachow Crunch. Now, you can do this any way you want. These are multicolored berries, so you could simply just pour them into a bowl. Let's do that right now. We'll use this clear little bowl. As simple as that, Kachow Crunch. <laughs> and if you haven't seen cars yet, that's what Lightning McQueen says, Kachow! So there's our Kachow Crunch. Now, of course, you could mix other things in there if you want to. Little marshmallows, maybe some pretzels or other cereal, things like that. But anyways, there's your Kachow Crunch. And we got one more awesome thing. Remember when I found these cereal straws also in the Dollar Tree? $1.25, there's five cereal straws in here. We got an orange, a yellow, a pink, a green, and a red. And I was trying to think of what we could use these for, and then I realized we need a drink to go with our snacks. So let's get a clear drink holder like this jar. And the first thing I bought at Walmart was this green mint flavored Trumu milk. I have no idea how this is gonna taste. Look at that. It's green. <laughs> oh, look at the colors of those cereal straws. Oh my gosh, those are awesome. Let's do the orange one. Pop that right in there. And we got Fillmore's Organic Fuel. That's not too bad. And when you're done, you can eat the straw. Mm, that tastes exactly like Fruit Loops with cream. So there you have it, guys. One of the best snacks ever. We got Mater Tot casserole. Kachow Crunch, Luigi's Tires, and Fillmore's Organic Fuel. For as difficult as it was to come up with snacks for the Cars movie night, I think we did an awesome job, and I don't think you could get any better than that. All right, guys, well, that is it. It is time to kick back and watch our movie, Disney's Cars, with our awesome snacks, Mater Tot Casserole, Luigi's Tires, Kachow Crunch, and Fillmore's Organic Fuel. I'm gonna get my pillows and blankets ready, but not before you guys help me pick out videos for next week's Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. So guys, we have a lot of videos I added this week. Like I said at the beginning of the show, I took down everything I had on the walls and I added new stuff. There are some spaces that are empty because I ran out of cases, so I had to order some more. The shelves back here in the kids section on this side are still empty, but I made this all Disney. So you can see every one of these has the Disney Blu-ray logo on there. And every movie on this rack is a Disney movie right under the Disney Monsters Inc. poster and the Disney Monsters Inc. door. So let's just start by looking at what we have on this shelf here since we're talking about it already. Now, last week in the running was A Bug's Life and The Incredibles, but they had a pretty low vote score, so we're gonna pass up on those. One of my favorites, though, is The Emperor's New Groove. I absolutely love this movie. And this one right here actually has The Emperor's New Groove and Krunk's New Groove. It's a two-pack, so that is pretty dang cool. I love all of these, and Moana is one that I bet you I have seen about a hundred times. I used to watch this with my granddaughter. Every time she'd come over, we'd just put it on repeat and watch it all day long. Now, a lot of people have told me that we should do Sing for a Saturday night snack in a movie, so maybe we'll put that one in the running this week. But I've really been wanting to watch Brave, because this is one that I have not seen, guys. I own it, 
but I have never seen this one. Now over here in the action department, I actually just got all these old Batman movies the other day. I love every single one of those, especially Batman and Batman Returns, because Michael Keaton is my favorite Batman ever. Arnold Schwarzenegger is actually in Batman and Robin, which brings me to the second shelf of all Arnold Schwarzenegger, which is not family friendly, so we're gonna skip that one. <laughs> now, of course, we also have Rambo down here. That's not really family friendly either, but we do have Shazam, and man, I love this movie so very much. They actually just came out with, or very soon they're coming out with Shazam Part 2, so I can't wait to see that one either. I love all these movies. It's always so difficult to choose which one you're gonna watch. Like, look at this. Okay, Ron's Gone Wrong. Now, I just said I love all these movies, but this is another one that I have not yet seen, guys. Have you seen this? What do you think about it? Maybe we should put this one in the running this week as well. This is funny, Howard the Duck. I put this up here and I actually bought it because this is one of those movies that I always wished was good, but it really is not very good at all. This is the movie that George Lucas made right after Star Wars. I mean, what in the world was he thinking? It's based on a comic book, and I guess if you know the comic book, then you probably liked the movie, but I'm really not sure. But it's not a family-friendly movie, so we are not going to put that one in the running. We do have this hilarious one right here, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Now, that's a Mel Brooks movie and it actually has Dave Chappelle in there. Pretty funny movie. I think there's a couple things in there that are questionable, but I think it still would be good for a family movie night. Oh, so many good movies here. The Last Starfighter, The Secret of My Success, The Manhattan Project, War Games, and look, up here we have Cloak and Dagger in the corner here. If you remember a while back, I actually was in Texas, San Antonio, Texas, and I did the filming locations from Cloak and Dagger. We also have Goosebumps 1 and 2 and The House with a Clock in Its Walls. I've seen both of the Goosebumps movies, but not The House with a Clock in Its Walls. And we have Small Soldiers, too. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this is an awesome movie. My kids absolutely loved it. And this is one I would love to do for a Saturday night snack and a movie as well. And guys, this is exactly why I love having my basement set up like this and why I miss the video stores. Because you can just look at all these videos. It's like a bunch of posters on the wall. You can go through each and every one, look at the front, look at the back, and then kind of reminisce about how good the movie was or see something that you haven't even seen yet and say, hey, I want to see that for the first time like Kung Fu Panda. Look at this. I found part one and part two at the Goodwill the other day. These were like two bucks a piece. Jack Black does the voice of Kung Fu Panda, so you know it's going to be hilarious. Look at this. We've got Yogi Bear, Open Season, Kindergarten Cop, Napoleon Dynamite, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Big Vice Versa, The Money Pit, Weekend at Bernie's, Mannequin Overboard, Bedtime Stories, Hotel for Dogs, The Emoji Movie, even High School Musical 1, 2, and 3. Guys, we got a lot of awesome movies on these shelves. It's so difficult to choose. In fact, let's do this. Okay, since so many people have said that they want to do Sing for a Saturday night snack in a movie, let's make that our first in the lineup of three. Then the second one, oh my gosh, I don't want any of them to lose. All right, let's do Ron's Gone Wrong. We'll put that one in there too. And let's get one from over here. How about, oh man, it's so tough to decide. Dang, all right, Kindergarten Cop, let's do that. I haven't seen Kindergarten Cop for a while. That is an awesome movie, and that is an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie that kids can actually get away with watching. It is rated PG-13. There are some themes in there that parents are gonna wanna be present with their kids at the time. But yeah, that's a movie that kids can get away with watching. So here's our lineup for next week, guys. We've got Sing, Ron's Gone Wrong, and Kindergarten Cop. I will put up this poll at the end of this video and you guys can go vote and let me know which one you want to do next week. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will come back next Saturday. Make sure you vote on which movie you want to watch next Saturday. Until then, ka-chow!